This is Tom Costello at Northwestern Memorial Hospital in Chicago, a dramatic example of the devastation caused by COVID-19. On the left, a healthy pair of lungs. On the right, the lung of a woman in her 20s ravaged by the virus. It took a double lung transplant to save her life. While she still has a long road ahead of her, I'm extremely hopeful that she's going to make a full recovery. Now, some of the nation's leading biotech companies report fast-track progress in developing vaccines and treatments. Moderna says it plans to start a final stage vaccine trial with 30,000 volunteers in July. We hope. Um, if everything goes to plan, that we could have a vaccine by early next year or even by the end of this year. Vaccine candidates at Oxford University and Johnson & Johnson also entering phase three trials. Walter Reed, Army Lab, also announcing it's starting human vaccine trials. Why is it important to be in phase three clinical trials this summer? Phase three is that final mile, that last mile before the vaccine is available to the public. And so it's incredibly good news that we're making it to that step. But it's not just vaccines. Several companies are working on antibody treatments. Regeneron, which Lester visited earlier this year, now says human trials are already underway. If you haven't been infected, it should block you from getting infected. And if you've already been infected, it should help you smother this virus so it doesn't cause any damage. An antibody treatment could be available later this year. A vaccine widely available could be early to mid next year, but that depends on everything going just right. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.